So at first we didn't know that same sex hamsters will fight quite a bit and sometimes even to the death. So we got a male and female. It is possible that they will have babies in the future, but they will be well cared for and given to homes. Male or female? Are the females gonna fight? No, 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 fighting. Okay. okay. The grey male, the brown female. The male, the female. <laughs> Thank you for buying these. You're welcome, baby. Hamster bees. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I think they're gonna help. Are they fighting? No, no, no. They're gonna love each other. <laughs> Hamster bees. <laughs> Welcome to our family. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Hi. I think he uh, feels thirsty. Yeah, we'll get him some water when we get home. Play. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, cute. Isn't cute? <laughs> I think they start to love each other. I think so. He, he looks like he's making a nice comfortable spot for her. Mm. He's a real gentleman, just like you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> he's making a home. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. Are you hungry? <laughs> I think they're hungry. <laughs> Here. <laughs> okay, the male is eating, the female is playing. He take the whole food. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> Check it out. Hello. Just give her a chance to eat. You should go back to play. Guys, we named our hamsters Harry and Mary Samsonite from our favorite movie. You guys know. Don't roll your eyes, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Harry. Mary. <laughs> Harry is eating. Mary is playing. And they are so cute with Cabal. Hey, Harry, old buddy, old pal. <laughs> eat more, eat. She's tired, maybe. Mary, Mary, enough. Enough playing. Go drink some water or eat some food. He's so cute when he's eating. Oh, it's her turn. Why do they sit in the whole dish to eat? That would be like us sitting on our plate of spaghetti or something. <laughs> Hello. Do you want to bet? Can I pet you? So Salah's going to go to the grocery store and get some groceries. And we're going to get the hamsters some lettuce and some apples and some carrots because they'll find that really tasty. <laughs> Did you tire yourself out, Mary? This is the food we have for them now. But we will also supplement with fresh fruits and vegetables. Hi, Harry. <laughs> so I'm trying to find the same for her while I'm gone. I'm going to be gone for three months. Do you think she's going to be happy with Pete? He's not going to give her the same affection that I did. So I need somebody who will. But if, if I take her to the vet and the vet says, she's 20. Like, I come home. I'm going to bring them to the vet before I go, obviously. They're going to get everything done. I just want to um, get everything checked out, make sure their shots are up to date, which they're not, but they will be. Um, so people can stop freaking out about that. I've never shot their whole life. Like, this is new for me. I never get them vaccinated, ever. Call me back out on Reddit here. Also, another thing I just want to say. Is this a nun? It does kind of look gay. <laughs> well, I mean... Um. 
I was like terrified, like running around hiding, trying to find somewhere to hide. <laughs> and <laughs> I feel so bad for it. And I'm like, mom, what, what is wrong with the gerbil? She's like, well, I felt bad for it, cutie. It got attacked by other gerbils in the cage or whatever. I don't, I don't remember who attacked it. It was like other, another gerbil or something. It got half its tail bitten off. <laughs> it looked like somebody tried to feed it to a snake, but the snake was like, meh, halfway through eating it, you know? <laughs> if you don't taste good, I'm gonna spit you out. Poor thing! Anyways, the next day it croaked. You know, it was half dead. Um, then, another birthday, I got Chip. And Chip was a crabby, crabby hamster. Like, I think it was like a teddy bear hamster. It looked like that lady I worked with, just like, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sorry, I have eyes. Yeah, but it was always like, and like that little face where it's scrunched up and grumpy. So in the box, he was so cute, you know. I'm like, oh my God, he's so cute. Mama. <laughs> my mom went to pick him up. <clears throat> he bit her finger. So she, she lifts her hand out of the box. He's attached to her finger and she's like, ow, 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 like wiggling it. He was like holding on. Anyway, he was nice to look at. There he goes. But every time I tap on the glass and go, Chip, hi Chip. I have a weird voice for all my animals. He would look at me like, like, like seriously, I'm gonna kill you. He got me a guinea pig, but one time, that's how I found out I was allergic. The thing would not shut up. It would not shut up. And guinea pigs squeal all night. And I'd be like, mom, I can't sleep. Anyways, no more rodents for me. So, another animal, she got me. Mm. By the way, Chip ended up dying. Every time I, I would go away, we got a family trip, I would have this one friend watch my animals. Every time I got back, the animal would be dead. She swears she didn't do it on purpose, you know. She was like, younger. Her mom would bring her over to watch my animals. I think, I used to think anyway, she was trying to get revenge on me because she's the friend that I went to her birthday party, bought her the Dangerous Minds soundtrack. You know, the one that has the, been spending most of our lives living in a gangster's paradise. Well, she was being a bee and wouldn't let me play with the Barbie that I wanted to play with, and she was being selfish. So I took the tape back and went home. So she was crying about that. Then, also, she came over one day. She was looking out the window and went to like retract and hit her head. I don't think she hit it very hard, but she started crying like, like not even a one year old would cry this hard. She was crying so loud. I'm like screaming. So I told her to shut up <laughs> and to suck it up. No, I was that was mean. Okay, but uh, I think that you know, ever since then she's had it up for me and she kills my pets. <laughs> I don't know. I, <laughs> I I really I doubt it, but a part of me wondered, you know, before I think I'm too weird. <laughs> Better move on with the story. So Chip died. I went to uh, I went out on a family vacation to get an awkward in my grandpa's boat. Came back. Chip was dead. He was in a ball. I thought he was still alive. He even died with a grumpy face. Anyway, I pulled out one of his whiskers and put it in like a little jar. But his whiskers were like clear, so I could never see the whisker. And I buried him in the backyard. <laughs> so my mom bought me an iguana, not an iguana, like a little newt. And I... This is childproof too, help me. <laughs>